King Charles has made a significant move by severing Prince Harry's last connections to the royal family, sending a clear message, Harry is no longer a prince. This decision marks a dramatic turn in a long-standing family feud that has escalated beyond repair. From Prince Harry's fairy tale wedding to the ongoing public clash with his family, how did we get here? Grab a cup of tea as we delve into this royal saga, exploring King Charles's decision and what it means for both Harry and the monarchy. In a move that has sent shockwaves across the media, King Charles officially cut Prince Harry's royal ties, leaving many to wonder why this drastic step was taken now. Prince Harry had already stepped down from royal duties in 2020, so what more was there to sever? The answer lies in his royal title. By stripping him of his last remaining royal role, Charles effectively ended any official connection Harry had to the family. This decision was deliberate and sends a powerful message. Prince Harry's royal life is officially over. Given Harry's history of public outbursts, including his controversial interviews and memoir, this final act of separation was not entirely unexpected. But what led to this moment, and could there still be room for reconciliation? At the heart of this fallout lies the ongoing struggle between family loyalty and duty. The British royal family has long had to balance personal relationships with the responsibilities of the crown. For King Charles, the crown comes first. His decision may reflect the personal turmoil of balancing his love for his son with the need to preserve the institution he has served his whole life. This is a dilemma that many can relate to, choosing between what's best for family versus what's best for the greater good. In this case, King Charles's choice may have been about more than just personal feelings. It was about protecting the monarchy. The split between Prince Harry and the royal family is not just the result of one explosive incident, but years of growing tension. Once beloved for his military service and charitable work, Harry's relationship with the royal family changed dramatically after he married Meghan Markle. Meghan's background and independent spirit clashed with the traditional values of the monarchy, and the media storm that followed only made matters worse. The 2021 Oprah interview, in which Harry and Meghan discussed their struggles within the royal family, was a pivotal moment. Their revelations about racism and mistreatment added fuel to the fire, and Harry's memoir Spare further exposed family secrets. With all these public revelations, it was inevitable that the royal family would change its relationship with Harry. But can there be redemption? Despite the apparent finality of King Charles's decision, the human side of this story matters. This is still a father and son, and their emotional bond remains strong despite the professional rift. History shows that even the deepest family feuds can heal, as evidenced by Queen Elizabeth's efforts to rebuild bridges with her family. But could King Charles follow suit with Harry? The possibility of reconciliation is still there, but it may not happen anytime soon. Prince Harry's departure from royal duties marks a significant turning point for both him and the royal family. The once united monarchy is now divided, opening up new challenges and opportunities. Many wonder if this move by King Charles signals the start of a new era for the royal family or the beginning of its unraveling. Can the British monarchy evolve while preserving its legacy in an increasingly modern world? Only time will tell. The global reaction to King Charles's decision has been swift. Public opinion is divided, some see it as a necessary step to protect the monarchy, while others believe it's a harsh move, cutting off the royal family's most relatable member. Harry, with his progressive views, had become a symbol for a younger generation, and some argue that the monarchy may struggle to remain relevant without him. How will this impact Harry's relationship with his brother William and others in the family? Reports suggest that Harry's bond with William is beyond repair, and William likely supports his father's decision to prioritize the monarchy. Meghan Markle's influence on the rift cannot be ignored. Many have blamed her for the tension within the royal family, but is that fair? Meghan's treatment by the media and the pressures she faced within the royal family were undeniably harsh, and both she and Harry wanted to protect themselves from the overwhelming scrutiny. Their decision to step away from royal duties was as much about personal freedom as it was about their desire for independence. Ultimately, King Charles's decision raises significant questions about the future of the monarchy. Can it remain a distant, opaque institution in a modern world that demands transparency and relatability? And can Prince Harry truly leave the royal family behind? Even without his title, Harry's connection to the monarchy is undeniable, and his past will continue to shape how he is perceived. For Harry, the challenge will be redefining his role within this legacy while attempting to live life on his own terms. So, what do you think about King Charles's decision to sever Harry's royal ties? Is reconciliation still possible, or has the damage been done? 
Share your thoughts below as we continue to follow this ongoing royal saga. The world will be watching how this story unfolds, and the implications for both the royal family and Prince Harry are far-reaching.